Well, it's no secret the Jags have the number one pick and will likely draft quarterback Trevor Lawrence. But did you know he got married over the weekend to Marissa Mowry? Well, Jaguar fans didn't get an invite to the wedding, but they wanted Lawrence to know they were happy for him. And it all started as a bit of a joke. Eric Dillard sent out this tweet. If everyone wants to hit my Venmo, we can buy them one of the sick gifts on their registry. We want to welcome them to Duval. Then, Adjusted Cap responded on Twitter with this. We should legit buy them something. Well, you won't believe what happened. The money started rolling into Eric Dillard's Venmo account, and he joins me on the morning show. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Great. So how shocked or surprised were you? Um, so I was like kind of shocked that people wanted to donate straight through my Venmo account because it's kind of weird. Um, but I guess like thinking about it, things we've done in the past, um, the $300 did seem kind of like a very reasonable um, uh, amount to get to. So it was pretty awesome that it happened so quickly. It is. So you were hoping to get enough money to buy a uh, toaster. At last count, how much was crowdsourced? Um, so, so far, if we don't count the toaster that's already been sent um, and the vacuum that's already been sent, we have $7,200 um, that we're going to donate or give to him to allow him to donate uh, to the charity of his choice. All right. So let me get to that. You did some homework and you found out that the COVID-19 relief fund was the one charity that you know he was tied to. And you're reaching out to the people that represent him to find out if there are others, aren't you? Absolutely. So I got in contact with his agent yesterday. Um, and we're exploring maybe it could be, end up being something that's local to Jacksonville. But I also know that as you know, the franchise quarterback, he has plans to come to Jacksonville and uh, start his own charity work. So if he wanted to do it, something back home, back in Clemson or even in Cartersville, Georgia, that'd be a really cool thing uh, for him also. And you know what? I, I started thinking and uh, uh, Kyle, who's back in the booth, reminded me that this is not your first charitable effort on uh, on twitter you helped a local teacher get some books didn't you yes sir i did <laughs> along with everybody else it was more than just me yeah. i just sent a couple so you've got some clout but I, I was thinking to myself okay you know you're asking people to venmo you cash and most of these people don't really know you you got to find yeah. that it's kind of odd <laughs> yeah it's definitely weird um i was hoping that my previous credibility with the book drive uh we it was like fourteen thousand dollars when books were raised which is a huge number that we never expected. And then in February, we also uh, helped raise money for the old Stanton building downtown. So I think that the, the pre-existing credibility kind of helped take off. Um, and I've been really transparent with it all. I want everyone to know like what's happening as the money's coming in because we do want to give it all back. We want, we want Trevor to get all of the money and send it to the charity of his choice. That's really fantastic. All right, back to the gifts on the registry. You know, they, they probably had to have a pretty fantastic registry. I mean, the guy's going to be an NFL quarterback after all. So um, you wanted to get a toaster, but somebody else took care of that. That's correct. Uh, John Phillips, uh, one of our great lawyers in town, he jumped in. He snagged the toaster, sent it initially as um, a gift from Jag's Twitter, and then told us that we could use the $300 just to, you know, make our donation fund larger. Um, but because we did have such a, a large amount of money and people did initially donate the money with the idea of buying a couple items, we also bought that Dyson vacuum too. Yeah, because you wanted to have them, you know, something practical. Absolutely. I mean, and, and I don't know if I can say this, but we know Trevor Lawrence isn't going to suck, so we had to get him a vacuum that's going to do it for him. <laughs> I love it. All right. So do me a favor. Uh, you know how to get in touch with me when you find out what charities uh, the money is going to go to beside the COVID-19 relief fund. Let us know. And I think it's just fantastic that so many Jags fans here in Duval County and, and probably elsewhere are so behind this guy and they think he can move the team forward. That is awesome that they're, they're you know, they're, they're, they're so loving he's coming to town. Yeah, it's great. And I'll, I'll definitely get in contact with you. But the sense of community in Jaguars Twitter specifically, it's much greater than Jacksonville. Just like the term Duval, it's not only the people who live in the county, it's everyone who's like in, entwined with the team. And that's really all that matters. If, if, you're, if you're Duval, if, if you're part of our community and you want to give, if you just want to be you, you're welcome. Come join us. It's a great time. And I, I thank everyone who's donated so far. And Eric, thanks for motivating people and getting them together. And thanks for spending some time with us. No problem. Thanks for inviting me, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Now, well. here at Channel 4, we always want to see your random jacks of kindness. It's not just about, you know, you bragging. It's about motivating other people like Eric did. Whether you're donating to a local food bank, paying it forward at a local store, buying a gift for a future quarterback 
for the Jaguars and donating to his charity of choice. Go to newsforjacks.com slash snapjacks or through the News for Jacks app. And this week is the perfect time to pitch in. It is National Volunteer Week. And be sure to sign up for our daily pick. Pick me up the Positively Jacks newsletter. Just go to newsforjacks.com and click on the newsletters tab. You'll get uplifting stories and information on how to help our area sent directly to your inbox.